guys, welcome back to Kubasau Reviews. We're taking a look at Gunbuster from CCS Toys. And when I tell you this thing is massive, it, it's almost like an understatement. It's not Ultimetal, Blitzwave Ultron, like that kind of massive, but for, I guess, a quote-unquote regular size die-cast super robot figure, the thing is huge, hefty, lots of metal inside and out. Um, just to the head, I've got about... 10 and a quarter inches tall shoulder pauldrons. Uh, we're looking at do, 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 13 inches on the dot from this view. I'll have something better in the written article per usual. But yeah, so this thing is hefty. My scale broke. I wish it didn't because I would love to be able to weigh this in front of you guys, give you an exact weight and everything like that. But oh well, feels good. Anyways, looking at the accessories, it comes with a ton of stuff so much that i can't even lay it all out right here so in this tupperware thingamabobber i have all of its electric effects they go on via magnets just like everything else i love that ccs toys does that because they use really strong magnets and the like all right his spokes for those effects um he can rip the like energy core heart out of his chest and it comes with the Magnetic kind of exoskeleton for that. Um, his spiked the bottom of his foot or the sole of his foot. Additional hands, two of which are articulated, also the fingers and stuff like that. The rest static, weapon holding and the like. Even the stand itself, I have never seen so many parts for a stand between like the bases and the multiple poles and the like. So he also has his cape, which comes in four pieces. Um, his bat. An effect for the bat and what's really cool in case i forget i shouldn't but yeah this actually goes on via magnet holds on really strong and it also activates the led effect in it so there's that his dual axes and an effect for his foot while he's doing his what's it called iconic jump kick so yeah i'm not going to keep the box up even though the line art is amazing per usual just because it's so damn big, this is by far the biggest CCS Toys box yet. And also by far the most accessory. So this is a lot going on on here. So we're going to go over the figure. I'm not going to tell you guys how to install each accessory. I'll give an overview while I do it. But basically, figure, articulation. Then we'll just go over the accessories, have them all installed and stuff. Make this as clear, quick, and concise as possible. Get you guys out of there, and then you can let me know what you think in the comments. But there will be more details in the written article on Kumasau.com, as well as a full gallery too. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, give me you guys a quick roundabout again, about ten and three quarters inches. Let me see again. Yep, ten and three quarter inches to the top of the crest, top of the shoulders, thirteen on the dot, and we do have that more heroic pelvic thrusting stance there. Just a roundabout. I love the lining throughout this thing. Greebles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just going over gimmicks here. So there's an LED button on the back, which activates a light on the head, just his single eye. And it also activates a light that'll travel through to that energy core. We'll go over that a little bit later. And then as you slide these up on each side, there are LEDs inside of there as well. There's that. Now zooming in here, let me see if I can. All right, and there you go. You can see the writing inside and whatnot as well. Let me see if we can capture the other side from this angle. You can see the LED in the face there. No other LEDs on the figure itself. So there's that. We're just getting the camera resituated here. Cool. Making sure our lighting is right. There we go. All right. Cool. Closing those up. And I understand. Single eye small pupil, but I wish there was a little bit more in terms of the LED on the face. It really doesn't do a lot, but when you wire it through, you'll see a little bit later uh, with the chest and whatnot. That's where it gets really cool. So looking at the articulation, the neck is on a ball joint meeting where the, that chest area, and the head is on its own ball joint too. All right, so 
you got to watch out for these pieces sticking out of the side of the head. doesn't let him quite do a full 360, even though technically it can. But it has up and down movement. We'll talk about that in a second when I pick it back up off the floor. It's a point of contention for me. So limit it side to side. Take that off too. There's the ball joint. Just pops right back on. But lots of movement in that lower neck part, which helps it out some. I wish that you could bring the head up a little bit. Maybe like extend it or something to get a little bit more movement. But it's what it is. Now this piece clips on ball joint in the front it doesn't stay on the best it stays on fine i guess in normal display and whatnot like it's not going to fall off if you shake it or anything like that but even just lightly trying to move the head it likes to pop off and i'm not the biggest fan of that now let's keep going with the articulation here the shoulder pauldrons they are on their own levers and they're really tight too so you can go about there okay and then if you saw, it will also go up there so you can do like that. And you're starting to see his side to side like waist rock. Okay. So movement there and you can get some side to side there. Speaking of these, with this part up here, if you slide these down, it reveals the missile launchers. So that's pretty cool. All right. And for those of you who don't know, it's actually two, um, I would call them ships that transform and come together to form Gunbuster. So it's nice that they show shades of the individual modes and things like that. So, okay. Now looking at the shoulders themselves, can't super move this out of the way, but I'll try my hardest. Okay, there's that. All right, so butterfly, great butterfly, in and out, no up and down, all right? And you gotta watch those, they will pop off. All right, so parallel. All right, so roundabout, obviously, it, it's blocked by these shoulder things. Even though it has the ability to do it, I'm not even going to go for it here because it's silly. All right, 360 at the bicep. Double jointed elbows. Okay. And then... All right. And since we're here, I'm going to use one of the articulated hands. This is one of the few figures where I'm not too keen on the articulated hands just because it comes with so many individual locked hands that it almost renders these pointless. And unless there's something you really specifically want to do with the hands, then it's really got you covered on the fixed hands. And you can't hold weapons with them or anything. But, all right, thumb partially down at the base and then has a knuckle. Each of the fingers, there's no spread in between, so I'm just going to do one. Goes in, one, all right? Three points of articulation on each. So one, two, three, okay? You can do them all if you want to. But yeah, especially since it's not really good at making a fist, I. Not really the best, you know? But again, all way rock and the like. So we're just gonna go back to the fist for the sake of this. And you see they just peg on and off. Get those back in order. All right, so we're back to the figure. And now we're going over the waist, all right? I'll actually just pull that off. It's fine. I'll show you guys the back bend, ab crunch. You see that part here. And then there's a little bit more up in the upper torso too. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not getting any movement off of the waist itself. Now when it comes to the waist swivel, the waist itself, you can see it does move. It can actually 360. All right. Now it also has side to side. Boom. Boom. It's one point at the actual waist. So that's pretty cool. Now looking at the legs, these pieces come out. It's a little bit tight in there. Do these move out? 
I don't believe they do. I'm gonna peg that back on. This figure is one of the ones that, or one of those ones where a lot of piece, pieces don't come attached in the box, which is always a fun time. I really hope I don't have to do this off camera. That'd be nice if not, but if so, whatever. Just wanna make sure it's secure. Am I doing it the wrong way? Yes, I was. All right, so that's a lot easier than I made it look. That's on me. So these back skirts don't move out. Front skirts do. All right. And then we're gonna go outwards. Strong die cast joints. There's no like movement in the hips. You can't like swing them down or anything like that to get further out swing. It's just what it is. And even for that being blocked, that back swing ain't bad. All right. 360 at the thigh right there. Double joint at knees, but the second joint doesn't go like crazy far. And then for the ankles, it does pull out some, but that's just because it's on a peg joint. But like the whole thing doesn't, whatever. Plenty of space though for whatever you need to do. Movement in the front, back and forth rock as well. And because of that being on a peg, you can hit a 360. Now let's say you take these off by accident. They just peg back on pretty tight. But yeah. And you saw that again during all that. This crest piece came off. And it's like I don't want to glue it because you never know if something will break, yada yada, but I'm kind of veering towards it, not gonna lie. Alright, I'll make sure that these are good and correct. Then yeah. actually get him into a sufficient pose for you. I don't know why, the feet are flat. But I swear sometimes with this figure, I have a little bit of issue really making sure that they're planted. All right. So watch out for that. Now we'll go over the accessories. All right, and quick look at the bat. Um, I noticed the LED went out, so it is time sensitive, the LED on the bat at least. It will time out after for a bit. All right, if you notice right there, since the head can't turn to the side on its own, I just went ahead for the sake of display, picture, whatever, and set it on top of the neck. So I am cheating right here for this picture. Right. And I wonder, can you do it without? Nope, unfortunately the magnet's only on that side, so you have to have the LED and let you take the batteries out of the bat. All right, and I'm not gonna rotate this much because it's just, it's finicky with the stand and stuff like that. So for this one, I use the stand that's angled backwards and then the base that goes underneath the figure that's pointed forwards to kind of give him, I don't know, more of a pop in terms of going back and then out at you. Using this effect, it just magnets to the bottom of the foot. It stays pretty well. Now you can do it, of course, without the effect part as well. But what's the point when I want to show it as much as possible? In fact, let me move it over some. To make sure the logos aren't overlapping or anything like that. All right, there's that. All right. And for the most part, I haven't been going through the actual creation of like these poses, accessories, etc. But I think it's pretty cool to show for this piece how everything looks. Because I told you guys that light for the eye also has lights for the chest too. So remove that. Just two magnets right there. Take this piece out. Also... Two magnets inside. 
And then you've got that core piece right there. Let's see if we can't up the brightness a little bit. That's the white balance. Okay, there we go. All right. We will go ahead and try to lodge this out. I have done this before. That's also a magnet piece. So it stays in great. Surprisingly great. All right. Now, if I recall correctly, we've got this. That will go in. Actually, no. See, doing this reverse. Put this in here first. And then, put that in there. Then guide this piece through. And you see over there, that piece is lit up. Then we just find the appropriate hand. get it attached first oops there we go okay so you see it there And now let's zoom out. Right. And here's that. Really cool stuff. All right, and looking at its cape, I really like it. Both of the two sides on the back do have articulation, move them in and out, rotate them up and down. And then the front is actually just a fist. And I'm not gonna move their arm around because the way that the cape is, I guess, draped, it's meant to go across like I have them posed here. Yeah, that's the cape, multiple pieces, and I think it works well. Okay, and here he is with his armaments attached. Give you a little bit of an angle there. What's really cool is that the electricity pieces are just put them at, like, as you want. Both the ankles and the wrist have little metal rings around them that you could just kind of attach them to. There are different types of electricity pieces and stuff like that. It is cool as heck once you've got it all together. Um, getting the spokes and the legs in particular was kind of awkward for me. But overall, um, yeah, not too bad. Really not bad at all. And I really like the display presence of everything attached to it and stuff like that. It's probably not how I'm going to display it, just because of the amount of room it takes up now, but god dog, it looks cool as heck. I really do like it. Okay, and here he is with his armaments attached. Give you a little bit of an angle there. What's really cool is that the electricity pieces are just put them at like as you want both the ankles and the wrist have little metal rings around them that you could just kind of attach them to there are different types of electricity pieces and stuff like that it is cool as heck once you've got it all together um getting the spokes and the legs in particular was kind of awkward for me but overall um yeah not too bad 
really not bad at all. And I really like the display presence of everything attached to it and stuff like that. It's probably not how I'm going to display it, just because of the amount of room it takes up now. But, god dog, it looks cool as heck. I really do like it. Alright, and closing it out, I just picked a couple of random uh, CCS Toys pieces to stand it by. So, on its on your left, it's going to be their Mazinger Z. And on your right, it's going to be their Shin Getter, of course, CCS Toys Gunbuster in the middle. Now, final thoughts on Gunbuster. Obviously, display-wise, it's incredible. Um, I would say it's between that and Cybaster in terms of the best that they've done yet. Gurren Lagan is still very, very good, but I mean, these two in general, Cybaster, Gunbuster, really big, really beefy, just bring it very imposing figures and they're ones that i feel like you could just display on their own in a detolf and they would look fantastic where this one really loses its luster is when i was actually reviewing it i'm not gonna say like i started to hate it or anything like that while i was reviewing it but it does become a very frustrating figure you know the lack of like head articulation because of the head design you know things could have been done to get around that in my opinion i'm not an engineer but i i've seen neck extensions and all kinds of stuff to make that work you know the crest falling off constantly while you're doing simple handling and things like that it's it's a lot and then i feel like it comes with a lot of accessories to make it a very definitive figure but the most fun and the overall best display is without any of that crap involved. I don't see a lot of people displaying it with a cape, with all the spokes out on, with electricity everywhere and things like that. It's going to be kind of like this, if anything, you know? So maybe all of that stuff wasn't necessary, you know? Um, <clears throat> I do get a little bit annoyed when things come with a bunch of accessories that I don't feel are necessary and stuff like that because it's a lot more to review and stuff. And let's be real, kind of lazy getting older, not as into this stuff, etc, etc. But that bias aside, you know, I understand they want to make a definitive, complete figure, but maybe, and I don't normally encourage option sets, but this is one where a lot of this stuff would have made for a good option set so that people who just wanted the figure itself could have done that. Outside of that, some better head articulation side to side that head swivel and you've got a 10 out of 10 the lack of head swivel makes it an 8 out of 10 so even though that's kind of detrimental to play posing etc etc that should tell you just how good this figure is if i'm still willing to give it an 8 out of 10 let me know what you guys think in the comments like share subscribe make sure to check in on kumastyle.com for the full written review as well as gallery and yeah see you next time stay well stay safe glad to be back to it